in this video we will discuss the problem sum of nodes within k distance from the target node so the problem says that geeks is at the geek summer carnival so to unlock the discounts on the exclusive courses he is given a card with binary tree a tree node a target node and a positive integer k on it right so he needs to find the sum of all nodes within max within a maximum distance k from the target node such that the target node is included in the sum right so basically the problem says that you will be given a target node right you will be given a target node you will be given a value k and you will be given a binary tree as well so let's say if the binary tree given to me is 1 then 2 then let's say 9 let's say i have been given 4 let's say uh let's talk like this let's say i have been given 4 let's say i have been given 8 let's say 19 right then 30 here and then uh, 19 has the child let's say 40 and 50 and let's say 9 has the child 5 7 uh, 20 and 11 right if this is the case so let's say if the uh, k value given to you uh, is 1 right if k value is 1 and the target is given to me as 9 right so in this case i can see that the target node is 9 so i need to find the sum of all the nodes which are at uh, which are within a distance of k is equal to 1 from the target node right so i need to consider the target node as well i need to find the sum of all those nodes including the target node so target node is 9 so i'll say that the sum is going to be 9 plus what 1 in this direction if i move so this node right this node 1 plus 1 plus what uh 1 towards this side so that is 5 plus 7 right that is nothing but this so this is what this is 10 and this is 12 right so total sum is going to be 22 let's see if we are getting the right answer for this case so you can see that we are getting nothing but 22 that is nothing but for this case if the target node was 9 so i had to take the sum of uh, that this thing 9 and 5 and 7 because they are at a distance of less or equal to 1 then i had to also take this thing right uh, this node 9 then 1 then 5 and 7 and the total sum would be 22 right now let's try and uh, have a look at another case for this particular problem. So let's say if a binary another binary tree is given to us and in that case let's say if the binary tree is given like uh, 1 then 2 then 9 and let's say you have been given 4 you have been given let's say 5 and 7 and this 7 is connected to let's say 20 and 11 and uh, let's say this is connected to 8 and then 19 and let's say this is 40 the same tree right 40 50 and this is given as 30 right so if suppose that for this particular case the target given to you is uh, let's say 40 right target node is 40 that is this particular node right if the target node given to you is 40 and what you are given is you are given k value is 2 so you have to find the sum of all the nodes which are lying at the distance which are lesser equal to k which is lesser equal to k including the target node right so for this you will say that okay 40 the node 40 is at uh, at a distance of 0 from itself then you'll say that node 19 because it is it is at a distance of what it is at a distance of nothing but one so i'll consider this node as well then with respect to this 40 this node 50 is at a distance of what this node 50 is at a distance of nothing but uh two right so that's why i'll also consider consider this node so total sum will be what 90 uh, 50 plus 40 is 90 now and uh, 90 plus 19 is going to give me 109 plus what I have to consider this, this node as well because with respect to this 40 you can see this part right this 40 then 19 and then 4 so this is a 4 this node 4 is at, at the distance of 2 from the node 40 so I have to consider it, it as well so 109 plus 4 will give me 113 and if I look at the answer so that is going to be my final answer in this case right you can see 113 is the final answer now the thing is that how do I do it right so basically what you can try to do is you will be given the root initially you will be given in this particular problem you will be given what you will be given the root you will be given the root of the binary tree right so you will be given the root you will keep on moving down right you will keep on moving down and what can happen is either your root can be the target node right if that is not the case so either your uh, either your uh, target node will lie in the left uh, left subtree or in the right subtree okay so that is something that you have to identify like in this case when you when you are at this node right so when you are at this node, so you are able to identify that the thing is that this is where your uh, child is lying, right? This is like if you consider this particular node with respect to this node, your uh, 40 is lying in the left subtree, right? So basically these things you have to consider and you have to, in that case, you have to take the sum of all the nodes that are in this range, right? That are in this, lying in this, this range such that k minus 1 is the distance between them, right? So you have to you will consider what you will consider this particular complete subtree right you will consider this kind of a subtree 
like this case because it is lying this node is lying in the left subtree so you'll consider what you'll consider that okay with respect to this four this left subtree including this four right including this four this left subtree needs to be considered because the distance is k is equal to two right because if you are suppose that this so k is equal to one k is equal to two so total two distance from this node right so basically four plus nineteen plus forty plus fifty so why are you considering this particular subtree this particular right subtree because this particular subtree is uh, having what this particular subtree is having the target node four and if you take the sum so this gives me nothing but uh, one one three that is that uh, overall sum of this particular uh, uh, node target node including the target node with all the dis uh, nodes that are in the distance lesser equal to k minus one right so let's try and quickly uh, write the code for this particular problem so what I will be doing in this particular problem is basically I will be having first of all a sum right in this particular thing I'll be having a int sum that is the final result so I'll be having a sum initialized to zero then what I'll be doing is I'll be traversing right so maybe I can do what I can call a traverse function I can call a traverse function in which I'll be passing the root I'll also be passing the target node right I'll be passing the target node right I'll pass the target node apart from the target node I'll also pass the k and I'll also pass the sum but I'll pass it as, as a reference because whatever changes I make in the sum I want it to reflect back in the final sum right so in the end I'll return the sum from this particular thing right so let's try and uh, write our traverse function so what I will be doing in my traverse function right so basically in my traverse function what will I do in the traverse function I'll simply say that what I can easily observe in the traverse function in this uh, particular traverse function what I'll be doing I'll be traversing to see in which particular region my target node is lying right so I'll write the function uh, traverse right and what I will do is in the traverse function that I'm making I'll have the root so I'll say that uh, node star n right that is nothing but the node let's say let's mark it by n uh, so let's say uh, this is n is the current node right n is the node right and or you, I can say I can use current instead right so the current node I'll have the target so int target target uh, node uh, target node node with the target value and I'll have int k that is the distance and int star sum because I have passed it with ampersand so here I'll use pointer sum right that now what I'll do is I'll say that if if it happens that the current node is equal equal to null right if the current node is null so in that case what will I do I'll simply return a minus one because in that case the answer won't be possible right if the current node is uh, null so that means that I have to return back and I have to return minus one because this traverse function is going to be recursive in nature right after this what I will do is I'll say that what if the current node right if if that happens that the current node data is equal equal to nothing but the target right if, if the current node data is equal to the target that you want it so in that case what will you say in that case you will say that you can uh, you can call a recursive function right you can call a recursive function uh, let's say you can uh, call a recursive function let's say add subtree uh, let's say you can call a recursive function add subtree in which you can pass the node current node uh, let's say current node right you can pass the k value and you can pass what you can pass the sum so that you can take out the uh, sum for this particular subtree right because you will be including it and you can return k minus 1 because one node uh, like one distance you have covered so you have to return k minus 1 from this case right after this part is done so let's say if you if the current node if the current uh, node is not containing the data that was your target so in that case you will check in your left subtree right so you'll say that the distance in the left subtree now you can see that traverse function is returning something right so you'll say that uh, this tra I'll call this tra traverse function right and what I will do is I'll say that in this traverse function right what I will be doing in this traverse function is uh, that I will be passing right I'll be passing the currents left because I'll be checking in the left subtree okay I'll be checking in the left subtree whether the target node is there or not I'll pass the target as well right I'll pass the target and what I'll pass is I'll pass the k and I'll also pass the sum right and if it happens if it happens after this recursive call is done so if the distance is greater than minus one right if the distance is greater than minus one in that case that means that the uh, that means that simply indicates that if the distance is greater than minus one this indicates that the target nose is, is found in the left subtree right so I'll say that in this case target is found in left subtree okay right if and if that is the case right if that is the case so in that case what should I do I should say that I should add my sum so I should say that star sum because I have passed it with ampersand in the function so I'll say start sum plus is equal to current data right I'll add the current data 
to my uh, to my node right and then what i'll do is i'll uh, i'll call this recursive function add subtree right so i'll i'll be adding the sum of this particular subtree right so i'll say that i i need to do what uh, i need to add subtree right add underscore subtree and what i will pass in this function is i'll pass the what currents right okay i'll pass the current rights apart from this i'll say that okay the distance minus 1 is there because the distance will re reduce by 1 and apart from this i need to pass the sum to take the sum of this particular range right and i'll simply say that i need to return what distance minus 1 because every time the distance will keep on reducing by 1 right so this part is there now after this part is done right so suppose that you do not find the in the left subtree you not do not find it right for the current node in, in its left subtree you know not do not find the target node so you'll try to search it in the right subtree so you'll say that again uh, like you will declare this particular thing that is distance so you'll say that uh, distance is equal to what distance you will try to find and you'll say that distance is equal to nothing but traverse right in this case i'll be traversing in the right subtree of current so I'll say that I'll traverse and I'll say that currents left I'll traverse to the uh, currents right subtree right right subtree I'll traverse and I'll say that target right I'll say that target and I'll pass k and I'll pass sum right and I'll check if the distance if the distance in this case is great greater than minus one right so greater than minus one means but that basically if it's a valid di distance that means that if the if in this case I'll say that if this is the case right so in this case I'll say that uh, target is found in right subtree okay if the target is found in the right subtree then i need to simply add the current node to my answer right so i'll say that star what sum plus is equal to nothing but uh current data right i'll say that star sum plus is equal to current data after this part what i'll say is i'll say that i need to call for the subtree right i i need to take the uh, values of the left subtree in this case right basically i need to take the sum of all the values right adding the values from left subtree so i'll say that okay i'll pass for the currents left and what i'll say is i'll pass what distance minus one because the distance will reduce by one right and i'll pass simply the sum right every time i'll be doing that and after this part is done so i'll simply say that the distance has reduced by one right so i'll say distance minus one after this part is done so let's say if i am not able to find for the current node if i'm not able to find the uh the target node within this uh, bit distance k uh, with respect to the current node with in its left and right subtree so in that case i'll return a minus one right i'll simply return a minus one indicating that i have not found it right and now let's talk about how i'll be implementing this particular function that is the uh, subtree subtree function that is adding the sum of the subtree right so i'll say that uh, void subtree right i'll make a function void subtree in which i'll be passing what i'll be passing the current node so i'll say uh, node star current and I'll also pass the int distance, right, int distance. Apart from this, I've also passed the int star sum, right. So basically in this particular thing, what I'll be doing is, if the current, if the current uh, node is equal equal to null, right, if the current node is equal equal to null, in that case, what I'll do, I'll simply return, I'll simply return from this particular function because I'll, I'll not be adding anything, right, if the current node is null, right. So I'll return. Otherwise, when will I return? If the current node is null, or it happens that the distance is lesser than zero right if the distance becomes lesser than zero that means that if if uh, if that node is not uh, if this node is not within the distance of k right in that case i'll not consider it otherwise if it is then i'll say that star sum plus is equal to i'll update my sum to nothing but the current data right current nodes data and i'll call with respect to this node i'll call in the left subtree and right subtree by reducing the distance by one so I'll say that I'll pass, uh, I'll call this function uh, recursively add subtree and I'm basically adding this, uh, adding the uh, node data of the subtree, right? So I'll say that current data I'll pass, currents left, right? I'll, I'll pass the current left because I want to search in the left. I want to take the sum of the left subtree uh, and my distance minus one distance will get reduced by one and I'll pass the sum, right? Similarly, I'll call it again for the, uh, for taking the sum of the right subtree if it, if it is within the range of k right taking the sum in the right subtree nodes and i'll say that what current uh right current right and comma distance minus one comma sum right this is what i will do now let's try and compile this code and see if it works without any compilation errors maybe we can have some compilation errors so basically current data okay yeah right so this part is there apart from this like I don't think that any other problem is there. Let's try and compile this. 
okay it's giving a compilation again so what i would be doing is i'll be having this particular thing right i'll be passing the add subtree comma k comma sum add subtree was not declared right okay yes add subtree sorry this function i have to declare like add underscore subtree right this this thing i have to declare it like this okay let's try and compile this seems to work on the samples we are getting the output 22 let's submit it so you can see that our approach was able to pass all the 1050 test cases thank you for watching this video